Hi friends let us now go to our next question from J main 2019 11th of january evening session our next question is if speed capital v acceleration capital a and force capital f are considered as fundamental units the dimensions of young's modulus will be our choices are v raised to power minus 2 a raised to 2 f raised to minus 2 second choice v raised to minus 2 a raised to 2 f raised to 2 third choice v raised to power minus 4 a raised to 2 and f raised to power 1 and the final choice is v raised to power minus 4 a raised to minus 2 f friends this is a very very simple question from dimensional analysis and only one choice is correct before going further please press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive the notification of all my future videos let us now try to solve this question in terms of mass length and time the dimensions of velocity acceleration and force are v equals l raised to power 1 and t raised to power minus 1 acceleration a equals l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 and the force f equals m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 and t raised to power minus 2 we know that the young's modulus is equal to force per unit area therefore its dimensions are y equals force divided by area which equals m raised to power 1, l raised to power minus 1 and t raised to power minus 2. Let alpha, beta and gamma be the dimensions of velocity, acceleration and force in Young's modulus. Then very clearly dimensions of Young modulus y equals dimensions of v raised to power alpha into dimensions of a raised to power beta into dimensions of f raised to power gamma or m l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2 equals bracket starts l raised to power alpha into t raised to power minus alpha bracket closed bracket starts l raised to power beta t raised to power minus 2 beta bracket closed bracket starts m raised to power gamma l raised to power gamma and t raised to power minus 2 gamma or m raised to power 1 l raised to power minus 1 and t raised to power minus 2 equals bracket starts m raised to power gamma into l raised to power alpha plus beta plus gamma into t raised to power minus alpha minus 2 beta minus 2 gamma comparing the powers of m l and t we get gamma equals 1 alpha plus beta plus gamma equals minus 1 or alpha plus beta equals minus 2 and minus alpha minus 2 beta minus 2 gamma equals minus 2 or minus alpha minus 2 beta equals minus 2 plus 2 gamma or alpha plus 2 beta equals 0 or alpha plus beta plus beta equals 0 since alpha plus beta equals minus 2 or beta equals 2 substituting the value of beta in alpha plus beta equals minus 2 we get alpha equals minus 4. Therefore, dimensions of Young's modulus y in terms of v, a and f are y equals v raised to power minus 4, a raised to power 2 and f raised to power 1. And our answer matches with option 3 and option 3 is our right answer. Friends, I am sure you found this question very very easy. In case you still have difficulties, 
please write to me in the comment box the purpose of my life is to spread physics in the easiest way and to make the life of the students comfortable and stress free so spread these videos amongst your friends and colleagues so that they are also benefited of my efforts don't forget to like and share these videos do visit us again for our next video till then keep smiling